For this stem bite, I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat ice cream, which also happens to demonstrate a really important idea in physics. What I love about this good old fudge swirl is that it's got vanilla and these great swirls of chocolate, but it's just the right proportion. And this is exactly the ice cream I had all the time when I was in middle school. It'd come in these little plastic cups and you'd have these tiny little wooden like spoons, right? And what I would always do is, of course I'd eat some of the fudge first because it's delicious, but then I would just start smashing it. It would kind of get a little softer. And then I'd start to kind of stir it while I smashed it. It turns into this beautiful consistency, of just the right amount of chocolatey goodness. And as I was eating my ice cream tonight, I realized this is a beautiful demonstration of Joule's classic experiment. This is what Joule did, right? He took this big cup of water and he spun a little kind of fan in it. And as the fan moved around and around, it was doing kinetic energy, just like I am with this spoon. And it would heat up the water, right? And what he showed was that mechanical energy, the motion of these fans, was the same as thermal energy. And I just did the exact same thing. What I've done is I've melted the ice cream and made it delicious. Mm. This is a really important discovery in physics because it showed that all energy is fundamentally the same, that it can take totally different forms, whether it's mechanical or thermal or chemical, like this delicious ice cream. Stand by.